Hey guys, my name is Peter. I'm here to give you a little tutorial on how to basically make an AV out or an FPV cable for your SJ cam, whether it's 5,000, 4,000, 5,000 plus, whatever. Uh, well, actually, to start out, how this happened to me was that I was flying my Walkera QRX3 uh, 350 Pro and uh, had a little accident. I, uh, I, I, I used to own a GoPro. I know Walkera has the, uh, this problem where it just falls out of the sky. I, I fixed that problem, went to uh, it's a program on the computer. Anyway, uh, Mission Planner. Mission Planner. I had Mission Planner, I removed the, uh, the hole where it's, it's low on battery and it'll just fall out of the sky. Um, so I did all that and it did it anyway. Couldn't be that, the battery was full. Uh, I've only flown it up for like five minutes and it just fell out of the sky. Uh, the thing is where I'm from, uh, I'm from Puerto Rico, La Puerto Rico, and we have this uh, moored balloons or a tethered aerostat radar system. And a lot of people have been telling me that that might be the cause of the problem. And it didn't just happen to me, it happened to another uh, fellow quadcopter owner. Uh, and he did not have the wall care and that that happened as well. I went out and bought an SJ cam, it was cheaper. Um, the thing is that the AV cable, the output does not really work for the SJ cam. It doesn't fit. So uh, I ordered an SJ cam, it came with an AV cable uh, or an FPV cable, uh, but I couldn't figure out how to connect it to the wall care's uh, uh, this is the Dimension TX58003, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer so you can see how I, I... I didn't really solder it on, I just tied it together and put some tape. Um, Alright, let's do that. Alright you guys, here we are on the table. Uh, as you can see, I've already sliced the, uh, the GoPro uh, FPV connector. Um, so yeah, so if you notice, this cable right here, uh, it has two like side by side and one separate. The one that's separate uh, is the ground. And the one that's on the far right, right over here, or the one closest to you, which is right here, is the uh, video, video out. All right, now, like I said, um, keep in mind, you don't need to go out and buy this cable right here. It, you can make your own. Um, but it's the same principles, same connections. You're just going to need these two cables right here. And uh, like I said, this came with the camera. I got lucky. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to use it. So basically what I did was I just eliminated this one right here. We're just going to use this one. Okay, now keep in mind that this is this goes connected to the Dimension TX5803 transmitter, all right? So, you're just going to take this cable, connect it here, all right? And this one right here. that's pretty much it this middle one I guess I believe this is what charges it I don't know I think it's this is what charges it and um, I tied down the green and red over here wasn't gonna use them to me I mean I don't I don't really care about charging and I don't know if I can uh, they say that uh, if you connect it and it's too strong too strong for the uh, to the battery it it would overcharge it and you can run into problems anyway but yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Um, if anything, if I messed up, if uh, if you guys have any questions, because this is actually the first time I've done this, uh, just leave it in the comments below. All right, guys. See you.